Price can't help but smile as she's serenaded by her boyfriend of nearly a year. I thought you were going to cry. What? No. <laughs> I just got red, I'm sure. This Valentine's Day, Andrew Fawn decided to ditch the box of chocolates for something special. And, uh, I figured what would be a really good song that's actually romantic and a favorite of Katie's to do. <laughs> so I thought it'd be a fun thing to do for her. A little embarrassed at first, but um, it was really great. Northeastern a cappella group Distilled Harmony is selling singing valentines. The group posted ads on Craigslist and around campus promoting the unique opportunity. We want to provide a little bit of romance to people who want to give a nice Valentine's Day gift. So since we're singers, it's the easiest thing for us to do is sing. From classics to current hits, group members will travel just about anywhere to serenade and often humiliate an unsuspecting sweetheart. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Don't hit us. They even take special requests. These fully customized orders start at $15 and include flowers and a card. We want to keep these Valentines affordable for students because we know a lot of students are on a budget, but we also think that it's pretty special and it's a good gift. There's the traditional sweetheart candy, or roses. Nowadays, even a sentimental text message will do. But could singing Valentines be the new gift that really says, I love you? Yeah, I think it would be flattering. I think it would definitely be flattering. I would love to get that. I would love it. but. Yeah, I would definitely take advantage of that and use it for someone if I had someone to send it to. As for Andrew and Katie's plans on the 14th, it's Andrew's turn to be surprised. Um, it's a secret, actually. I planned it. I don't want to jinx anything. I have no idea, actually. <laughs> Reporting for NUTV, I'm Marissa Bodner. Happy Valentine's Day.